Fifty years ago today, June 13, the Mayflower II sailed into Plymouth Harbor, completing a 55-day voyage from England. The British people built the ship as a gift to America for its cooperation and help in World War II. Joseph Meany, 17, from Waltham, gave up his high school graduation to sail on the ship. What I remember most was just starting off with no familiarity with sailing and ships and becoming accepted as a crew member by the time the ship, the voyage was over. And did you have a graduation on the ship? Yes, I did. Just as we were coming up the East Coast, it was the same day that I would have graduated from high school. And they uh, had a ceremony and they inducted me into the list of official crew members of Mayflower 2. What was the weather like on the trip? In general, pretty good. Uh, we did hit one bad storm off the East Coast. The ship handled it very well. And what was the worst memory of the voyage? Seasickness. How long did that last? Uh, for me, the first full, full week of the trip, of the voyage. We weren't even out of the English Channel. <laughs> Joe Meany, now 67, spent the afternoon on the ship sharing stories of the voyage with tourists and signing autographs while Plymouth Plantation volunteers handed out Mayflower 2 birthday cake. The event is the first in a series planned this summer to celebrate the ship's birthday. See a full story on Joe Meany in the Patriot Ledger and visit the Plymouth Plantation website for information on upcoming events.